There is a great market for these horses for, to do other things. There are so many that when they got, got through racing, it's like, what can they do? What are they going to do? And so the, the awesome thing is that there's, now there's so many people that are realizing that these guys shouldn't just stop racing. They're four, they're five, sometimes they're two. You know, and so they have so much life. Just like I felt, well, I have a lot of life. I just can't keep being a jockey. <laughs> and so with that, I think, you know, you, you take them and you start developing them and start riding them, and then you see what they like. And I mean, I think horse people then obviously know that. You know, if they're quiet, if they're friendly, you know, maybe they can be a children's hunter. And they, there's so many things that they can do that gives them a great life. And fox hunting is one of them. I mean, there's so many things. And so I think that's great. Just like me trying to discover for my, myself what else could work. It's the same thing with doing the horses. These guys are so well bred and they're bred to be such athletes. And so, okay, not all of them, just like people, you know, it's not like I'm, I couldn't go run it, you know, run at the racetrack, or, you know, personally. I mean, so I think everything, because they are athletes, and okay, some of them just don't really have that desire or mentality or whatever, the, whatever it was to keep them from just being a racehorse, just running. But there's so many other things like the jumping, just, you know, maybe being ridden, but not in that kind of competition. And so they have, they're such an athlete and they have such a great brain that once you start putting that into play and discovering what their likes are, just like the difference between a racehorse, whether it's a sprinter, it runs a distance, it runs on the turf. Okay, well, maybe the ones that weren't that competitive, then can they be a show hunter? Can they be an event horse? Can they go fox hunting? Can they just be somebody's trail horse? And so it is the mentality of each horse as to what they like. And the fact that now we're allowing them to tell us and that people are willing to give them that opportunity. So that's what, I mean, they have all the breeding, they have the athletic ability, the confirmation, they have all the right ingredients for any single sport in the horse world. And so it's just now a matter of figuring out which one is the best suited to them. As far as the marketing of the racehorse, the biggest thing that I see to that is educating the public. It's not just the horses, it's educating the people. There's so many good trainers that take their time, that do everything right. And so those horses, when they get through racing, or if they weren't good enough to pay their bills, whatever, didn't, then they still have such a great life. And so I think the biggest thing is the, for the people, to be, for you to be able to go to the public and say, this is a great animal, just give it a chance. And so it's so much that everybody that's involved is to educate, re-educate them on what a great horse it is. And that it's not just to race, it's to do everything. So I think there, it's the public that we have to ed educate. They're showing the whole world that look what can be done. Look what a great horse, look what a great animal, that what an awesome life they can have. And so I think that's where these programs are just doing so much good. It makes my heart glad to see that here's something that tried their heart out for so many years, given everybody everything, and now somebody's willing to give it back to them. That's the great thing right there.